Okay, so now we'll show you how the update procedure goes with the new software update flow. Uh, basically, once that the software will be available for your bicycle, uh, and when you open the application, you will get a notification screen like that. So it will it will tell you that the bike update is available. Uh, you can then choose to start the update directly directly from here, or you can go to the uh, bike settings and do it from there. I will show you how to go from here directly. So you just tap here. Uh, this is the bike software update screen. So this will this will pop up. You will get some new information about the uh, change log, what has been fixed, what's uh, what's new, and you have some instructions that you that you need to follow. So first thing is you download the uh, software update file to your mobile phone. So this is uh, the system then asks you if you want to use the cellular data or if you want to use the Wi-Fi. I'm just going to continue with cellular. And the download is in progress. So depending on your uh, internet connectivity, this will this can take up to up to let's say two two minutes, two and a half minutes. Uh, but here on on my network it goes pretty fast. So the file is 234 megabytes. Uh, once the file is downloaded to your bike. Uh, excuse me, to your mobile phone, you then try to install it on the bike. So you use this and in this uh, case uh, the mobile phone tries to connect to the bike over Wi-Fi and upload the software update file. This is a system pop-up that will ask to join the network. It pops up anytime you need to join the Wi-Fi network. Uh, the system is now checking if the bike has uh, enough uh, battery level, if the connectivity is good and it starts uh, updating the uh, software update file directly from mobile phone to the bike. Uh, now you see that the bike has switched in the software update mode and it, it says that software update is started and it's uh, receiving the file from your mobile phone. Uh, this can, depending on the, on the, let's say, the environment you are in, this can take also up to five minutes uh, to upload uh, to the bike. So once the file uh, gets upload, uploaded to the bike, uh, the bike then switches in the mode where it's uh, flashing the file to its system. This is going to happen now. So step two on the bike is actually step three on the phone, uh, flashing, and this can take up to 10 minutes. So the bike will uh, do its thing and uh, update, update its uh, software. Okay, so once the flashing is completed, uh, you get the message on the mobile phone that your bike has been uh, updated and the bike goes into the reboot uh, to, uh, let's say, re restart with the new version. Uh, you can then just uh, dismiss uh, the confirmation screen with done and the bike will uh, get rebooted and you will be able to use uh, your uh, new system. Thank you.